as far as technology goes, things usually turn over every 10 years or so, and here's film that's been pretty much exactly the same since its inception in the late 1800s, and uh, it, with all of the other things that have, you know, taken a big chunk of the uh, exhibition market share, everything from uh, Laserdisc, VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, none of them have even touched the the potential resolution and, and uh, picture quality of uh, of 35 millimeter film and and certainly not uh, 70 millimeter film or or uh, any of the larger formats so that's pretty unique that this thing has stuck around for over a hundred years and still is is the best format out there and unfortunately is being phased out just because of lack of resources to to keep it going watching movies on film is a different experience from watching something on its digital counterpart in that you get a more organic sort of experience it's a it's sort of a softer image on the eyes and i don't mean softer like less sharp it's just there's something really pleasing about the 24 frames per second and the 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 sort of uh randomness of film grain i guess is is what makes makes film look and feel the way it does well it's hard to say what young people are missing by watching digital media instead of film because it's very much in the eye of the beholder for those of us that grew up watching film there's a very nostalgic and uh, comforting sort of feeling to it. One of the most important things that I think is being overlooked by distributors and companies that are pushing for this, this digital changeover is that all of this digital stuff, these, these formats are changing constantly. And from an archiving standpoint, it's very dangerous to be moving away from film because here we have film from from you know the turn of the century that we can still put in a projector and watch or even if we can't do that it's i mean it's easy to scan scan in it's an image you can look at it you can see it you can touch it it has an analog waveform in no matter where our technology goes any idiot should be able to figure out how to show or at least transfer a film to a way that they could show it whereas you know, 200 years from now, are they going to be able to even uh, process the information from one of these hard drives? I mean, film, you can stick it in a dark, cool place, and it's going to be fine for a couple hundred years, probably. Whereas a, a DVD or, or a hard drive with some information on it uh, could be gone in just a few years. That's kind of terrifying if there aren't going to be, you know, film negatives or or answer prints being stored in some vault somewhere, we're probably gonna have a big dead zone in cinema history after the uh, changeover to digital here, because uh, the stuff's not gonna last forever.